Jack, they lose the opener, but they rally in that final inning, reminding us they're never really out of a game, and then they firmly put a stamp on that in the nightcap. Yeah, that was a spirited win, Bob, because for six innings, Aaron Nola was befuddling them. 12 strikeouts across six innings, that hellacious curveball. But here's what the Yankees did. While they weren't figuring out Nola, other than Luke Voigt's home run, their relievers were shutting down the Phillies. So they had a four-headed monster that went up against the Phillies, one-headed monster in Aaron Nola. And after six innings, it's an even game. Nola goes out of the game. Tommy Hunter steps in. And that's where the Yankees seize control. The best at-bat of that seventh inning goes to Mike Talkman. Takes a close 3-1 pitch for a strike. Fouls off a 3-2 pitch. Gets a 3-2 cutter. Delivers a double. That delivers the go-ahead run. And the Yankees are feeling good about getting that split, Bob. You'd love to take two in one day. It's a hard thing to do. But they feel especially good because they essentially beat Nola. Though they didn't beat Nola, they outlasted him. They won on a day Nola pitched. All right, let's bring in John Flaherty now. And Flash, Jack makes a great point in that the Yankees never seem out of a game. And this game, the nightcap set up perfectly like they wanted it. That bullpen holds things right where it is and allows the offense to make that comeback. Yeah, guys, this is a gritty win for the Yankees, especially after the disappointment in game one, the way half pitch, you rally at the end, which maybe influenced Joe Girardi's uh, decisions on what bullpen arms he could bring in. But at the end of the day, when you split a long day of baseball, you split it and you have a gutsy win like the Yankees had tonight. Jack's 100% right. Luizaga and three relievers go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aaron Nola, who's as good of a pitcher as you're going to see in this league with those 12 strikeouts and six innings. Getting into the bullpen was huge. The Mike Talkman at bat was the biggest of the night, and it, you can go to your team hotel tonight uh, with a well-earned split of this doubleheader. John, I know the seven-inning game is a novelty at the major league level, but you've been in those dugouts before. Do you think that conversation was occurring in the Yankee dugout? They, they want to score against Nola, but let, let's just keep it close, guys. Let's keep it close, knowing that the Phillies bullpen is not exactly a strong suit. Yeah, Jack, you know what the Yankees, they saw right away that Aaron Nola was on top of his game, and I'm sure the conversations were, let's grind it out, let's see pitches, let's grind out at bats, and that's exactly what they did. There were a couple of guys who had some tough nights, Glaber Torres, Gary Sanchez, but when you get Nola out of that game, when you're in the Yankee dugout, immediately your spirits are uplifted because you know whoever comes in at that, out of that bullpen is not going to be to the quality of Nola. And, you know, Tommy Hunter coming in that game he got beat up a little bit but like I said just at the end of this doubleheader this is a gutsy win for the Yankees and a well-earned split well guys